In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of transpose of a matrix. We have already seen in our previous video what is transpose and we know some properties and one numerical for the same. This video is dedicated to a proof question. Let's read what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question is, if A is a matrix, it is a 2 by 2 matrix involving trigonometric functions and it is given to you. Then, then you have to verify A transpose multiply by A is equal to I2. What is I2? Again, you know it is identity matrix of the order 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2 by 2 matrix. Let's see how to do the solution. So the solution goes in a manner that you have A and you have to find out A transpose to multiply it by A. First should be your A transpose, then should be your A. So what is A transpose into A? Let's write it directly, clearly. A transpose multiply by A means first write your A transpose and then write your A matrix and both have to be multiplied. So first row is what? It is cos alpha sin alpha. This is the first row. Make it as your first column. So it becomes cos alpha sin alpha. Similarly, minus sin alpha cos alpha is given to me. So it becomes minus sin alpha cos alpha. Right? So minus sin alpha cos alpha, these are all placed accordingly. This is your A transpose value. What about the value of A? A is written upwards. Just copy it down. Cos alpha sin alpha. Next, minus sin alpha cos alpha. So it is minus sin alpha cos alpha. So this is basically what we are actually having. Now, we are just supposed to multiply these matrices. How to do the multiplication? You know that first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column, right? So first row, first column need to be multiplied, then first row, second column and then so on. So cos alpha, cos alpha. Multiplication means cos square alpha minus sin alpha minus sin alpha so it means plus sin square alpha so cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is what we get now you already know cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so basically what we get is we get cos square alpha which i can write in the next step as 1 later on while cos square alpha plus sin square alpha will give me 1 so let's first write only it as cos square alpha only and then we'll change so it is cos square alpha plus sin square alpha, cos square alpha plus sin square alpha, then cos alpha sin alpha, here it is minus sin alpha cos alpha. So basically these things cancel out, so it is 0. Next, sin alpha into cos alpha, because now it is the turn of second row and first column. So sin alpha into cos alpha sin alpha and cos alpha here but 1 is plus 1 is minus so basically it is again 0 last but not the least I have again second row second column so sin alpha into sin alpha is sin square alpha cos alpha into cos alpha is cos square alpha so sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 so it is basically again cos square alpha plus sin square alpha which I will be writing in the later step as 1 0 0 1 and what is this 1 0 0 1 it is nothing but your identity matrix of the order 2 because we know that yes identity matrix of any order is comprising of ones and zeros and since it is 2 by 2 matrix so basically this is identity matrix of the order 2 and we were supposed to prove this only that yes a transpose into a is equal to i2 for this matrix